This year, our performing arts department has used the song Seize the Day as our theme. For this concert, our focus is on the line Raise Up the Torch and Light the Way. The students were given the charge to raise up a torch by making a public service announcement, a newscast, or a documentary in which they light the way by answering question why music. To start this project, students were asked to tell what their top five songs are that have to be on their playlist. We sat in a circle, passed around a ball, and talked about our top five songs and what those songs say about the students as individuals, and what all songs say about the people in their class. We noticed a large range of music from classical to classic rock to pop, hip hop, rap, country, a little bit of everything. We listened to some examples of music based on moments in history. Shostakovich's Symphony No. 5, written during the Siege of Leningrad during World War II. Roland Lepresti's Elegy for a Young American, written as a reflection of the day JFK was assassinated. Eric Wazen's Hymn for the Lost and the Living, written in honor of 9-11. And Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire. As we listened, the students wrote down what they noticed about each piece. Then the students took what they listened to and their top five songs and answered the question, why music, thinking specifically about its relation to history, culture, self-care, and life in general. It helps me focus on what I need to do and express my feelings. Music is kind of a big part of my family. It's kind of been my life. I love it, and I don't know if other kids can have it. My grandpa, when my great grandpa, he loved it when we played the piano. His favorite composer was Bach, and that kind of just inspired me to love music too. Because he loved music, so then it made me love music. It helps me express my emotions through song without taking up on anyone, like physically, emotionally. So if I'm angry or sad, on the piano and just like play my feelings out. Students worked with groups of two to five on their project. They started brainstorming with their group and found commonalities on the question, why music? Students then began creating storyboards that they used as an outline for their project and to plan their next steps. Then they began making their movies. Using the last 15 minutes of class and a few class periods along the way, students worked on filming their projects. Students filmed using iPads, phones, and sometimes video cameras. They interviewed each other, they made surveys, they interviewed teachers, they interviewed family members, they asked people questions that they thought could share their thoughts on music. They wanted to know why people played instruments, how music impacts your mood, and how music has changed you. They were very deep and insightful. Music can help a lot of people in a lot of ways, and it's, it's a fun thing to learn if you have the time. Not everybody has the same opinion about music, and not everybody thinks that the same music is good or bad. It really depends on how they're feeling or what they're doing at the moment and whether it makes them happy or sad. There's different things about music, like that it can improve creativity and it can help you with your education. Working on this project was a great way to explore the Connect standard from the Instrumental Music Corps as the students looked at how music relates to personal development and enjoyment of life experiencing how music connects us to history, culture, heritage, community, and other academic subjects, and how musical works are influenced by a composer's heritage and experiences. Some students struggled because the overall question of why music was so broad, they really needed to think outside the box. While other students found the flexibility in the question to be helpful in finding a common ground within their groups, it was also a great opportunity to learn how to use the media arts as a way to showcase information in our music classes. Some videos will be showcased during the concert, while all of the student videos will be shown in class the day after the concert, and students will be submitting their videos in the Canyons District Film Festival.